OpenAI just released three new models inside of ChatGPT available right now. They released one called O3, O4 Mini, and O4 Mini High. And these are considered reasoning or thinking models. So they think in the background before they give you a response. O3 will replace O1. And if you have the Pro plan, which is $200 a month, also O1 Pro mode looks like it's gonna be a legacy reasoning model. So this is gonna go away too. So that is gonna get replaced by O3. Now, these are the smartest models that OpenAI has released so far, and they have some unique abilities that I'll show you here in this video. I'll also put a link to this page and I'll show you a couple of things, but I'm not gonna spend too much time on it. They have a lot of benchmarks here that you could look at for yourself. I'd rather take it for a quick test drive with some prompts. Now here, I'll show you these benchmarks because they make it really easy to understand which model is the best model. So if you had to choose, you could see O3 is better than O3 mini, which also is replacing O1. But O4 Mini is the best one right now, and O4 Mini High, which they don't show here, would be the best possible model to use right now inside of ChatGPT. And in these competition benchmarks, you can see right here, O4 Mini scores a 2,719. This puts it in the top 200 coders in the world. <laughs> That's what this benchmark shows. And in these other ones, it's scoring in over 90%. And they have a unique ability that I wanna show you, this multimodal reasoning where it will solve visual problems. And O4 Mini here is scoring 81% and O3 scores an 82%. So you can see sometimes, depending on what you're doing this for, especially in multimodal, O3 will be a better model than O4 Mini. Okay, now these three models are available right now in my Pro plan and my Teams and Plus plan too. So they should be rolling out to those three plans. I'm gonna start with this one option right here inside of 40 Mini High. This one's really great at visual reasoning. So I'm gonna give it an example here just to show you what it does. And I uploaded a picture here, I'll show you. This is the picture I've uploaded. This is from one of the examples they gave. And the prompt they used was, I took this pic earlier today. Can you find out the name of the biggest ship that you could see and where it will dock next? Okay, this is really interesting. It found the name of the ship here the larger ship, the cargo ship here on the right, according to AIS data, it's next scheduled to dock in Long Beach, US. So, and this decided to do a web search, which is another function that I'm gonna show you. This uses all the tools that ChatGPT has, including using search on its own. You don't have to actually give it any instructions or turn on any other search option. It does it on its own. So it looks like it identified where this was in San Francisco, found the name of the ship, and then went on the web to find out its schedule. Now this one's another interesting one. This time I'm just gonna use O3 here and I'm gonna ask for based on what you know about me. So this is the new memory option where it could look into all your old chats, which I have turned on in a setting and I have made a different video about. Based on everything you know, share something in the news today that I will find interesting. So this will have to use memory, it will have to use search and it will have to use this reasoning to figure out what I would like. Okay, let's see what we got. OpenAI in talks to buy Windsurf for $3 billion. I did not know that. That would be really interesting. I was just testing out Windsurf actually. It's an AI coding platform. And inside of ChatGPT's two brand new reasoning models, O3 and O4 Mini, they just went live, exactly what I'm covering here. I'm gonna ask it, how did you know that I would like this? Because almost all our chats revolve around AI news, advanced prompting, and ways to turn those developments into skill leap courses, YouTube content, and marketing angles. Okay, so it does know me pretty well. Okay, let's try this prompt, and let's try O4 Mini, fastest at advanced reasoning. Okay, so this is reasoning. This is a faster, smaller version for advanced reasoning. Make a prediction for the tariff level between the US and China in June 2025. I'm recording this in April 2025, so we'll see how this ages. Provide a very clear answer in two to three sentences. Okay, that's some search, and if I open this up, it looked at 11 sources, it did two different searches, and it used this reasoning here. And the answer it gave us is, it basically thinks without reaching any new agreements, it will stay at the 145%. I wanna see if I get a different answer. Let me try it with O4 mini high, do the same exact one. Again, all of these have access to the search, all the different tools. They could even generate images here, analyze images. They have all those 
tools available to all these models. Okay, it looks like this one came to the same conclusion here after looking at 14 different sources, about 125% will still be the amount in June, 2025. Now let's do a quick coding test. This is gonna be a Galaga style game. I want one document, one Python I could run locally on my computer. So I'm not gonna use any external graphics or anything like that. I just wanna see how far this could get it with one prompt. I kinda explain how I want the start screen to look like. I actually told it there's no image files. Don't try to link me to any image files. We're going to just use code and it should be one file. So let's send this out. Okay, seven seconds, I got this. Where's the code though? Oh, I guess it kind of gives it to you in a different way this time. It's right here. Okay, that's different. Usually it gives you the code as just part of the text every time I've done it with a reasoning model before, but I guess this puts it over here instead. Okay, the start screen looks pretty good. Press space to start and oh yeah, it looks like, Oh, perfect. <laughs> this looks pretty good. I don't know why they don't look like ships. It looks like little suns here. Oh, game over. Yeah, I really like this. It's really smooth. The way I could move left and right is really smooth. Nice. Okay, let's use O4 Mini with a math problem. A horse costs 50, chicken 20, and a goat 40. You bought four animals for a total of 140. Which of the animals and in what combination did you buy them in? Okay, it told me I could do this in two ways. I could buy two horses and two chickens or three goats and one chicken. Now, let me try it with this O1 Pro, this older model here. I'll start a new chat. Let's see if we get the same answer with the older one. Now, this O1 Pro looks like this is gonna be legacy and they're gonna sunset this model too. It's only available in the $200 a month plan right now, but you don't need that plan for this now because O3 and O4 Mini are available in the $20, $30 plans too. Okay, O1 Pro came to the same conclusion, but as you could see, it took many more steps and it also took over a minute. Now, anytime you're trying to do estimation, ChatGPT reasoning models are really good at it. Estimate how many piano tuners work in New York City and list your assumptions and so on. Let's send this out. Okay, 23 seconds, and you could kind of see it's reasoning a little bit. It's not gonna disclose the full reasoning though, but. Quick answer, 150 full-time piano tuners in New York City. These are the assumptions you made based on the population here. In the second step, sub-problem breakdown. These are the different breakdowns. And it seems pretty logical here to me. Okay, around 150. I wonder if something like perplexity will find this through a search. Perplexity looked at 44 different sources and it looks like it kind of did the same thing. I have reasoning in my perplexity account too. So. 304 to 607, so it's saying roughly four to 500 or three to 600, depending on the assumption. And let's try this problem. I'm about to give you a new rule. Never say, I don't know. Instead, state your confidence and best guess strategy. So this is kind of a great way when you're asking it something really hard. I like to start the prompt with something like this to see if it's going to not do the default of, hey, I don't have an answer for you. And then it says, apply this rule that I gave it to the transit time between Mars to Earth. I keep getting the same error message here. So let me try 04 mini this time and let's turn this on and try the same thing. Okay, this only took seven seconds. 03 took almost a whole minute and it fell three times in a row. So I gave up on it. confidence 60%. And here's the answer. He gave us 6,206 hours and i said create an image representing this and it created this nice image for us with the new gpt 40 image generator right inside of chat gpt so that is the biggest upgrade here the o1 models the reasoning models the o3 mini models before they were limited in what kind of tools they could use inside of chat gpt o4 o3 those are all available with all these tools so you could do this kind of thing where you generate an image it will use search on its own it will also do deep research if you want. You could also press the plus sign, upload any documents. It's really good at visual reasoning, so you could upload an image to it. And that is combined with the memory upgrade that came last week where ChatGPT could now see all your old conversations and pick what it needs to give you an answer that is more personalized in addition to saved memory, which I covered in last week's video. Okay, now this menu has completely changed again. So let me walk you through it, especially if you don't use ChatGPT and keep up with it every hour like I do. This could be pretty confusing. So 4.0, this GPT-4.0 is still the standard model. You'll still use it all the time. This one is for sending you reminders to schedule tasks. This one is good at writing, but it's still very slow. I'm not sure if they're gonna keep this along for too long. They usually don't talk about 4.5. They also released one called 4.1. 
only for developers that is better than 4.5. This one's a little bit confusing. But now these three reasoning models are used for different things. Typically you use O3, but as you saw, O4 mini gives you a faster response. These are pretty much on par. It's really hard for me so far to tell which one is better for different use cases in their benchmarks that were almost identical in a lot of different benchmarks too. Sometimes this was better, sometimes this was better. And O4 mini high is now the very best model you could use inside of ChatGPT. And it's great for coding. And anytime you upload an image and you need to analyze it in any way, I would also choose this for that. The rest of the time I will stick with O4 mini only if I need reasoning. If I don't need reasoning and I'm just trying to do regular stuff with GPT, I will not use any reasoning model. They actually work a totally different way. They should be prompted a different way. So I'll cover that in upcoming videos. And then if you go to the more model, if you have the pro version, well, you have O1 pro mode, legacy is going away. This is in the free chat GPT account. I will never use it if I have a paid one. I will always use this one instead. And this is the old school chat GPT four, which is going away this month. Also, this is from 2023. Definitely never use this one. And if you're new to ChatGPT or you're not getting the most out of it, this is a very beginner prompting course that I just released today. A lot of people that were new to ChatGPT just wanted the basics and not deep dive videos where I'm comparing models and things like that. So this is a very introductory course. It's only an hour and a half worth of content. There's a bunch of prompt guys, PDFs that you could download with it. And I have it in the free trial. It's a seven day free trial. So you could just watch it risk-free. You don't have to pay anything to watch it. And we have all kinds of different courses that we're rolling out inside of Skill Leap. So right now we have 24. 24 different courses available right now. And there's beginner courses and much more advanced courses inside of this platform. This new Notebook LM course is very popular right now, as well as this SEO content creation course. And we're rolling out two new courses pretty much every single month now. So I'll go ahead and link that below and make sure you check out the ChatGPT memory video. That one is really, really useful. One of my favorite updates that I rolled out to ChatGPT. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.